hyperbola. X comes first, so this hyperbola is going to the left and right direction. The value of the center or the coordinates of the center are positive 3, positive 1. And all we need to concern ourselves with is the value of A, which in this case, A is equal to 5, found by the square root of 25. So starting with my center, which is at 3, 1, knowing that my hyperbola is moving to the left and right, I move to the left 5 units and to the right 5 units. And I do my best. Draw my hyperbola on the graph that's there, and you label your three points. Number nine is the equation of a circle, where the center of the circle is at positive 2, negative 3, and the radius of the circle can be found as the square root of 18, which is about 4.2. So we go to our center, which is at 2, negative 3, and moving in all four directions, we move 4.2 units. our circle and we label our four points five points actually okay and then numbers 10 through 12 number 10 is an ellipse we need to know the direction of the major axis On this ellipse, y comes first, so our major axis is vertical. The coordinates of the center can be found with your x, which there is nothing, so that's 0, and with your y, change the sign, so 0, negative 2. We need the values of a and b. a is found by the square root of 16. b is equal to the square root of 9. My center is at 0, negative 2. My major axis goes vertically, so that means I'm going to move up 4 and down 4. My minor axis, I move to the right 3 and to the left 3. I draw my ellipse, and I label my points. Number 11 is a circle, where the center is located at 0, 0, and the radius is equal to 7. Here is your center. You're going to move seven out. Draw your circle. Go slow. You get a pretty good looking circle. And label your points. And then finally, number 12. I don't know why that little thing is blinking. But number 12 is a hyperbola. Don't let it deceive you. If it was a circle, there wouldn't be a fraction here, and that would be a plus sign. Um, this is understood to be over 1. This hyperbola, because y comes first, opens vertically. The center of the hyperbola is located at positive 5, positive 1. Look for your x in the parentheses to find your x coordinate and the y to find your y coordinate. And the value of A is equal to the square root of 7, which is about 2.6. So we start with our center at 5, 1, moving up and down 2.6 units, is about right there. We'll do our best to draw our hyperbola because that's all we're concerning with ourselves ourselves with, excuse me, right now, and we label our three points. Okay, not too hard. That's what you're going to have to do tomorrow. Um, go through the sections that have all of these, look for the equations that are already in the form they're supposed to be in, and practice graphing. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.